the Davenport automatic screw machine. Tape 8, the E2726 size tool holder. The size tool holder is probably the most important holder on a Davenport screw machine. The E2726 can operate in any of the cross-working positions, but is usually used in the second, third, or fourth position. The function, operation, centering, etc. of this holder are explained in detail in this chapter and on the videotape. Parts of the E2726 size tool holder. The E2726 size tool holder is made up of these parts. The tool body, the fulcrum, the fulcrum plate, the size tool plate, the cutter shank holder, the square head locking screw, the roll holder, the square head collar screws, the shank, the shoe, the 7 16 14 set screw, the taper adjusting set screws, and the roll pin. The function of the E2726 size tool holder is to maintain close tolerances on the diameters of the workpiece. These tolerances are kept by the size tool in the holder. The size tool operates on a tangent to the circumference of the workpiece being machined. Because the size tool operates in this way, it makes a workpiece right to size. How this is done will be explained later. The tool. The size tool itself is contained in the E2726 holder. The size tool is a circular tool, similar to a form tool. The tool is mounted in the holder and is locked down with the 7 16 14 set screw and shoe. Located across from the center line of the size tool is the size tool roll. The diameter of the workpiece being machined is controlled by the set distance between the size tool and the size tool roll. This is how the tool maintains close tolerances on the workpiece. The E2726 size tool holder is spring loaded. The tool always goes to the center of the workpieces to maintain the same diameter, regardless of the work spindle on which it is operating, and regardless of any possible slight variation from a form tool operating in a previous position. Only four thousandths or five thousandths should be left on the workpiece for the sizing tool to remove. Only two thousandths to two and a half thousandths aside. The diameter of the workpiece. Remember, the distance between the size tool and the size tool roll determines the diameter of the workpiece. This is done because the tool of the E2726 holder goes to the center of the workpiece tangentially rather than going into the workpiece on the center line.
The spring-loaded holder allows the tool to maintain an equal diameter between the tool and the roll at all times by exerting roll pressure on the workpiece while the workpiece is being machined. For the initial setting, use a part or material that is the correct size and adjust the roll so that the material just passes between the roll and the cutting edge of the tool. Tooling E2726 size tool holder. The E2726 size tool holder is clamped in the Davenport automatic screw machine in the same way as a form tool or cutoff tool holder is clamped. To regrind or replace the size tool, move the machine to half index, 3 o'clock on the slot on the burring spindle opening and closing cam. Loosen the tool clamp bolt and remove the clamp. Then remove the size tool holder. With the holder out of the machine and clamped lightly in a vise, measure the distance from the cutter shank holder to the cutting edge of the size tool. This should be determined with a depth micrometer from the front flat surface on the cutter shank holder to the cutting edge. Next, loosen the 716-14 set screw. Remove the size tool by pulling the shank out of the holder. Be careful not to lose or drop the shoe. After the size tool has been reground or a replacement obtained, reinstall the tool into the holder. Next, measure the distance to the cutting edge with the depth micrometer so that the edge of the tool is exactly where it was before the tool was removed. Then tighten the 716-14 set screw. To begin installation, clean the receiving area, tool pocket, thoroughly. The E2726 size tool holder is installed in nearly the same way as a form tool would be, with this exception. When tightening the clamping screw, lift up the front of the size tool holder. Hold it up while tightening the bolt. This eliminates any possibility of backlash and also maintains the same amount of roll pressure, which is very important in maintaining the size of the workpiece. Check to be sure the spring float is still obtainable. Adjusting the tolerance of the workpiece. The distance between the size tool and the size tool roll is controlled by the roll holder. The size tool roll is located in the roll holder and the size tool is located opposite the size tool roll in the cutter shank holder. The roll holder is connected to the holder body by two adjusting screws with a pivot point at an equal distance from each of the screws. After making a workpiece, if its diameter is not in tolerance, make these adjustments. Move the size tool roll closer to or away from the tool, depending on whether the workpiece is to be made larger or smaller. To make the workpiece smaller, loosen the rear adjusting screw on the size tool roll holder, then tighten the front adjusting screw. This reduces the distance between the roll and the tool. Conversely, to make the workpiece larger, loosen the front adjusting screw on the size tool roll holder then tighten the back adjusting screw. This increases the distance between the roll and the tool. Taper adjustment on a workpiece. Remember, the size tool in the E2726 holder works tangentially to rather than on the center line of the workpiece. Thus, the angular adjustment of the tool is controlled by moving one or the other end of the tool up or down, rather than moving the tool in and out. A taper adjustment, therefore, 
is made by two set screws located on the side of the holder. If the workpiece is smaller in the front, or that part of the workpiece closer to the stationary head, and larger in the rear, or that part of the workpiece closer to the revolving head, follow this method. Loosen the set screw on the bottom of the holder. Then loosen the square head locking screw slightly. Tighten the top set screw. Then tighten the locking screw. Conversely, if the taper on the workpiece is larger in the front and smaller in the rear, loosen the set screw on the top. Loosen the square head locking screw slightly. Tighten the set screw on the bottom. Then tighten the locking screw. 